urgent crisis in Colorado. Yeah, the floodwaters there are out of control. You can see there is a man who is racing to open the floodgates. He puts his own life in danger to open them. Dramatic rescues have been unfolding there through the day and the night, and we will bring you the very latest, such yeah. an urgent situation. Such an urgent situation. A lot of information coming in right now, Sam. You're watching a woman in the water in that video. She just can't keep her balance in that heavy water, and she's just trying to get out of the area. We're basically showing you all of these pictures from the Boulder area, but remember, we're talking about a very large area. Let's go to some new pictures that are coming out of Big Thompson Canyon. That's between Estes Park and Loveland, Colorado. There are parts of eight western states that are under flood watches and warnings this morning. In that Boulder, Estes, Loveland area, at least three highways are gone. I'm going to say it's four or five. We're talking about highways gone. You can see how the water is rushing so hard it undermines the road surfaces and then carves out below them three to five to ten feet of ground. This is incredible amounts of water because you've got to understand that this part of the area is right on the edge of the foothills. So all of the rain that's been raining in the mountains is rushing right down into those small rivers, creeks and streams. And you're getting pictures like this, those rainfall totals that are sometimes coming up with almost half a year's rain in just a matter of hours. That number right here, that Fort Carson number is 10 inches of rain in four hours. And our Clayton Sandell is right in the middle, middle of it all. Good morning, Clayton. Hey, good morning, Sam. Overnight here in Boulder, we've had a whole round of new evacuations and take a look at this, a whole lot of new water, at least six inches to a foot where I'm standing now. And you can see behind me, people have just abandoned their cars in the water, which is still rising to dangerous levels. Overnight flash flooding in Boulder, Colorado. The sirens have just sounded again in Boulder. As growing floods have cut off almost every road to this city of nearly 100,000 people. A dam breach causing a sudden surge of water, mud and debris to rip through this residential town. The owner of this home frantically signaling for help. In Commerce City, thousands of people told to evacuate immediately as life-threatening rains overpower yet another dam. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, we felt that. This morning, hundreds of residents in the remote town of Lyons are trapped on the wrong side of a raging river. If the water comes over this bridge, this town is gone. It may be days before they're rescued. In the meantime, they're dealing with no sewage and no running water. All this just a day after dive teams in Boulder saved this woman and her dog. And this remarkable scene, a road completely wiped away. We have three cars in the water. Rescuers braving the rapids to frantically pull out a car. A man discovered inside. He'd been underwater for an hour. All he could do was he found a pocket of air and he was just sitting there breathing in that pocket of air for a while until the dive team could get to him. After a few harrowing minutes, the man was freed. His injuries only minor. And this morning, officials still believe that three people have been killed by all this flooding. They're hoping that number doesn't go up once they're able to get into some of these areas that are still cut off. Sam. And Clayton, so bad in that area that residents are being told no matter how much water is around them to shelter in place, just get as high as you can. Will the dams hold? There's additional rain coming in some cases up to two inches of rain, and we'll have the forecast later on this morning.